Along with Pfizer and Moderna, there are other COVID-19 vaccines in development, including ones from Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca, but they vary in how effective they are. In this week's Q&A with Toronto's Associate Medical Officer of Health, one of our viewers wanted to know how the differences in effectiveness affect herd immunity and how much of the population needs to be vaccinated in order to achieve it. There's no question that we have vaccine, uh, the, the effectiveness that has been shown in clinical trials. We know that when we actually give the vaccine in real life, some of that effectiveness can be different. Sometimes it can be lower. We're seeing that, for example, some of the variants may be impacting some of the effectiveness. Um, and the type of vaccine certainly impacts it. Uh, the age, you do have comorbidities, all of those things can impact how well the vaccine works for the person. So I think because there are so many factors, it's really hard to say what level of protection we need, what proportion of the population need to be vaccinated to be able to um, get that herd protection, especially because now there are so many more factors, the variants, um, the different vaccines, uh, the two doses, what's the interval between the doses. Um, so right now, we're just going to have to vaccinate as many people as we can, start with those who have the highest risk. If we can get as many people vaccinated as possible, then we'll all be protected and that will act uh, very strongly. And then uh, see where we're at in terms of what that steady state will be in terms of saying, OK, now we're, we've, we've achieved some sort of herd immunity. This week, the doctor also addressed several more concerns about how effective the COVID-19 vaccines are and revisited questions about the nature of the virus itself. For the full chat, you can go to our websites, citynews.ca and 680news.com, or to go directly to the page, point your phone camera to the code on the screen and follow the link that pops up. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.